let's go to uh, Simon at uh, Toy Fair. Oh, <laughs> what's so caught your eye? Cool. Oh, I can see what's caught your I eye. Need one it's a of very them. big TARDIS. Hello. Good morning. They've sent me here to land on this particular Toy Fair, not just to buy Bill's birthday present. He, as you say, must be a time lord. He does look good for 62, doesn't he? But also to look at an industry which, in fact, is something of a British success story. Sales of toys in this country last year were higher than they were last year, in fact, back at pre-recession levels. But how much toy manufacturing is actually being done now in this country? Well, to talk about the industry and their prospects for the economic future, because we've got some big numbers out later today, Martin Grossman from H. Grossman, a toy importer, and Andrew Copplestone from HTI. Now, first of all, Martin, uh, you import a lot of toys. How many where, where are they coming from? All the toys really come from China. Um, very little comes from uh, Europe now in comparison to what used to happen. And is that the way of the future? I mean, is there any future for toy manufacturing here in the UK? Because once you, they've got as cheap as they can coming from there, is there any future for that manufacturing in this country? The UK has priced themselves out of everything in, in the market in toys and in other industries as well. They're just too expensive. Too and many rules and regulations. And what about inflation generally? Do you see prices continuing to go up? Or, or I mean, are children actually going to suffer as you know people's pocket, as people's household incomes decline with inflation and wages not going up so fast? No, children don't really suffer that much. My, my late parents in the war told me that uh, children just don't suffer. They'll buy maybe slightly less, but the parents will do without food. They'll do without clothing, just to make sure that the kids are happy. All right. And, and in terms of retail, obviously, uh, Christmas, a massive period, Andrew, and there was the big freeze. How much did that affect the industry and uh, how much do you think it's going to affect you know, consumer sentiment going forward? Well, it, no doubt it had an effect. You had um, significant up periods during October, November. So overall, the year ended, ended positive. But, um, but there's no doubt for, for two weeks, three weeks of, of December peak selling time, there was, there was definite issues. Uh, it, some of the uh, out of town stores, I think, in, in particular, suffered more. What about, uh, what are the big sellers? It's been, it's been interesting. It hasn't all been high-tech and sort of technological gadgets. A lot of retro toys making a big comeback. Yeah, retro toys, role-play toys, a lot, of, a lot of toys that offer significant play value and long play value so that children can interact, can... Um, traditional toys. Yeah, traditional absolutely. sellers are still selling well. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Is that, is that parents being nostalgic about their own childhood? Is that, is that, is that children themselves wanting that? No, there's not a lot of innovation in the toy trade. We're, we're, we're kind of going back on ourselves an awful lot. I mean, you'll always get something slightly different, but a scooter's still a scooter, whether it's got one, one, one two, three, four, five wheels. It's always the same thing, same as a skateboard, same as inline boots, same as dartboards. You change it, you redesign it, but it's still basically the same product. It's still like the same things. Now, in terms of the retail trade, the supermarkets obviously have become big players in this. How much of the, of the stuff that you're selling is it going through that channel these days? Well, supermarkets are a significant part, but the, the guys that support um, whose sole business is toys, your early learning centres, the Toy Master Group, these are, these are guys, um, and Toys R Us, these are guys who, 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 whose sole business depends on toys, and they're a massive part of the, of the business. You want to keep them keen because supermarkets can be fickle. Do you still play with any of this stuff yourself? Oh, I play with all the toys. I'm the main <laughs> tester. Look at this. I'll even wear the helmet, you know. OK, all right. Well, what a great job to be in. Thanks, Martin Grossman and uh, Andy Copperstone. Thanks very much indeed. That's it from me. I'm afraid I'm going to be coming back to the studio before long. But anything you like the look of, Bill, I'll see what I can do for you. Yeah, table football table. Just see if you can put one in. You know, table well, football? Yes. Just put one down your jacket or something. One, I'll put one in the cameraman's van. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much. Thanks.